Hey there friends, Eric Andres, your Guitar Sage here to answer one of, well, several actually, students' question, which is the same, uh, that's been coming across to me lately on my uh, on Facebook, Twitter, and all these good places. Um, basically, is how to get more practice time in. So I'm going to cover a few things that, uh, to me, are very helpful for continuing to get practice time in while you're doing other things, okay? So uh, staying motivated, I have videos for staying motivated. You've heard me talk about that, um, you know, different techniques and what have you. But practice time is also a big one. And so we have a lot of distractions, a lot of things that take up our time. How can we get better at this instrument when we're not actually practicing alone, say with an amp and music and that sort of thing, okay? There are other bits and pieces. So I'm going to go over some of those bits and pieces with you, okay? A lot of times folks, um, let's talk about strength for a minute. A lot of folks have problems with bar chords and with changing chords and that sort of thing and they see their hands cramp up and, and what have you. So that has everything to do with stamina and strength within your hands. It doesn't have to do with music theory and that sort of thing. That has to, or even playing songs for that matter, it has to do with, with strength in your hand and stamina. So what can you do? Well, I did, I did a video, um, I remember a little while back where I had a, um, basically a stress ball. You can use anything for this. You could use a wash rag. You could use a, you know, go to the, go to the dollar store and get a stress ball. You could use Play-Doh or clay or anything. Um, it preferably something that gives because that gives you some sort of like uh, reward, if you will, that you're doing something. It's you know, so doing that. But you could also just do exercises, you know, like this. Uh, but preferably if something's resisting your hands, okay. So strength, especially in your fretting hand, is important. This is something that you can do while you're sitting at the doctor's office or while you're sitting and waiting for somebody or while you're sitting in class or whatever, okay? So strength, strength with your hands, that's a super easy one, but seems to be something that plagues people a lot. So don't think that you have to necessarily be playing the guitar to be improving your guitar playing, okay? So strength, make sure you get something. I don't care what it is. Don't get hung up on that. Get something to exercise your hand when you are not actually playing guitar. It also will help with uh, motor skills and that sort of thing. Okay, now um, let's talk about actually playing guitar without necessarily concentrating on songs and that sort of thing. So I'm a big fan of, I, I, I almost always have the guitar on me in some way, whether I'm, uh, you know, uh, watching TV or I'm on the treadmill or something. That's not true. I don't have it on the treadmill. Although that'd be a great idea. But I like to have the guitar with me because I'm always noodling, always fiddling, always coming up with different things. And so we don't watch a lot of TV in our house. In fact, I don't watch any TV unless my wife is watching it and sometimes I'll watch it. But unless I'm watching a movie or a documentary and then because I love those but nonetheless, let's say the TV is on and I'm going to sit in front of it and I'm not eating, which is something else I do. I'm gonna take the guitar and I'm going to sit with it. I have a Nintendo chair or a video game chair that I like to sit in because it puts the guitar in the right position. But if I'm, if I'm not having, sitting in that chair, I'm sitting on the couch um, or I'm standing, not very often, but I'm sitting typically with the guitar and I'm playing playing some of my scales, the ones out of the free ebook that's at yourguitarstage.com, shameless plug, make sure you go there. Um, or practicing my scales, pentatonic, blues, whatever, practicing different forms, different shapes. Um, that's if I can you know, be attentive to the neck a bit. If I'm not being attentive to the neck and I'm just wanting to zone out on the movie that I'm watching, I might just take one phrase in like this just back and forth with my pinky and my third finger. Whatever it is, doesn't matter. I'll take a particular something and I may play it hundreds of times, thousands of times. Because that is how you get to be a great player, okay? So, practicing when you're not necessarily in front of an amplifier and that sort of thing is totally acceptable. Another thing that you can do is if you're driving in your car, there are uh, ear training uh, CDs and tapes and uh, apps 
all sorts of things that you can do to improve your ear. Um, they're out there. You just have to do a little Google search, but you can find them. Things to, that will train your ear as you're driving. It's totally safe. Your hands aren't on anything. Super important because your ear is an important part of music. So we've, now we've got uh, strength. We've got applied to our ears. We've got exercises that we can do while we're doing something else other than necessarily playing music. We have to keep quiet. Get the electric out, watch TV, and play your guitar. Okay. Um, last thing here is shred neck. I've mentioned this before. These are great little things here. It's shred neck. And um, it's about 50 bucks, I think. I got mine on Amazon. I love them. They're really cool. This is great. You can sit in class and you can pick away. Now, it doesn't sound great. But it doesn't have to sound great, right? This is just a matter of getting your fingers moving, okay? Shred neck. Check that thing out. Just keep your fingers moving. Then when you do go to the guitar and you're going to play a song or play with a band or something, your fingers are going to be moving better. They're going to be stronger. Your ears are going to be better because you're doing those, those um, apps and CDs, if you will, in the car you're gonna be a better player. So be playing all the time, always be playing, okay? I'm Eric Andreas, your Guitar Sage. Please let me know how I can help on Twitter and Facebook and YouTube and all that good stuff. Make sure you go to the Unstoppable Guitar System. You can get in there for $1. That's not a whole lot of money. It's really not. Check it out. Go to yourguitarsage.com, get the free ebook, sign up with the email list, and I'll let you know when I'm doing a free webinar, which I typically do monthly. That's right. America Andreas, spay and neuter and be kind to animals. See ya.